and here that only sells French cheese from the Chinese people's favorite breed, famous Kong Tei, and even a one which is known as French stinky tofu, the Liberat. So, this is Kong Tei, a bit harmonia. Mm. If you are afraid of that, you can avoid to eat the custard. So, skin outside, but you won't feel everything. Uh, me, personally, I eat everything. Yeah, I, I say, I think it's a, it has the smell of the stinky tofu in China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me taste it. Not bad. Not that strong. Mm. It's a bit of bitterness mm. compared to the creamy uh, brie. Uh, but if you have a problem with bitterness, and if you like your tofu, it's definitely something you can go for. The cheese store opened in 2019. The only official flagship store in Asia. Nice weather, nice benefit. Listen, mate, I've got to go, yeah? See you next week. And Alex? Alex? Dear, oh dear. That was a big party by yourself, isn't she? Annie Alice? Whoa! He left the whole bowl! That's hardcore! Oh, uh, I oh. Howard Shelley, the pianist and conductor, loves to rediscover works that have been somewhat neglected through the years, including the music of Stefan Ona. We heard part of Piano Concerto Number no. Two, the finale. How it's joined by the Tasmanian Symphony Orchestra here on Classic FM. TFM. For all the years that I'm on your baby, I can figure out the reason why. I Three nights in Glasgow in early June, 40 minutes after two. It's the afternoon show on BBC Radio Scotland. Let's continue with my interview with the actor James Cosmo. Uh, he's been working in film and TV since the 60s and he's been in so many classic shows from The Sweeney and Braveheart to Lord Mormon and Game of Thrones and Farder Corum and his dark materials. I spoke to him uh, just about some of them. You've had so many iconic roles over the years, including Braveheart, Train Spot and Game of Thrones as well. I want to try and get yeah. to as many as those quickly as we can. Let's start with them. Um, Braveheart, uh, yeah. such a, a huge film. Um, how did you land the role of Campbell? What was that process like? I mean, you, you know, I, I sit here and you, you know, you watch films, you, you watch actors like yourself. You just assume that the phone rings, uh, James Cosmo would like you to play the part of Campbell. Is it like that? Do you have to go through the um, process as everybody else? Um, oh, um, well, yes, usually. Um, although it was uh, the the part of Campbell and Braveheart come up in a very sort of unusual way because I, I, what they call a general meeting with 